Look at the mask with my boy. signed in and yeah finished the last of us two last night um was it what i expected no but that's because i saw a trailer where some of the characters had actually been changed and the scenes had been swapped around what i actually got did i enjoy that at first yes then they massacred my boy which was a massive punch in the gut now I've seen everyone else's videos, it's the exact same feeling. I know they wanted you to hate Abby, and that's what they got. But then they wanted you to sympathise with Abby. And I noticed that people were 50-50 on that. So you got some people saying, can't forgive her, still can't forgive her. Ellie, please kill her. And then you've got other people that understand what the story's trying to tell you. Which I believe is basically two wrongs don't make a right. And as you go through the story, you just see this vicious cycle. One person after the other knocked off the story. But I didn't see much regret from Abby. You can see the hesitation in her face when she's about to kill Joel. But that's about it. We don't really actually see her mulling over what she did, only regretting the fact that she actually got consequences for doing it. Whereas Ellie, by the time you reach the end of the story, she actually has a flashback of Joel, which I believe, from that conversation, she decided that there shouldn't be any more hatred between them both because it was Joel that started the cycle by killing Abby's dad now as for how they told this story it's actually split into two so you got you start with Ellie's story and then move on to Abby's story which you'd think sounds like it'd be easy to follow but it's not because you end up jumping back in time to three days before Abby reaches the theater to kill Ellie for killing Owen and Mel so in them three days you're constantly wondering at what point are we going to get back to Ellie's story? Which you don't for... I'm not sure how long, but it definitely felt longer than the time that you spent playing as Ellie, which actually got really frustrating for me. Now, don't get me wrong, it actually made me sympathise with Abby and actually grow to like her a bit more, but it doesn't cancel out the entire story we got in the first game, where we grew to love both Joel and Ellie as a team. A team that was destroyed by this person you're playing as right at the beginning of the game. And personally, I think there could have been other ways to do the story in which it wouldn't have been so offensive to so many people. Now, up until I finished this game, I was going full Muhammad Ali, dodging every spoiler I could, and it worked. But I couldn't help miss the fact that people were hating on this game so bad. And now I've finished it, I can see why. It almost felt a lot more like shock value was important over giving fans what what they would have wanted, what they would have enjoyed, what they would have loved. And I'm not going to say I hated The Last of Us Part 2, because I loved the gameplay, and the plot points in the game were actually really good. I just think they were time poorly, and they were the wrong ones for this part in the timeline. Now, I do have an idea of how I would have liked the story to go, and I might even write it up and put it on my Facebook page and YouTube page. I'm not sure I might do that, because I don't want to waste most of this video telling you what would be the perfect story, because that's not my job. The people who created this game, they're the artists. They get to choose whatever story they want to tell us. And luckily for them, even though The Last of Us Part Two got so much hate, I think the first game redeemed the second one for pre-orders, because they did such an amazing job with the first game that everyone obviously expected it from the second. Now I would have said all this at the end of my playthrough but I thought I might give it a night thinking about how I feel about it all and I even looked at other people's reactions to every spoiler in the game and the ending itself which didn't really sway the way I felt about it personally anyway but it was interesting to see how everyone else took it. Now if you want my opinion if you haven't played it yet I do recommend playing it because like I said the gameplay is really fun They've upped it from the first game. You can actually do a lot more traversal wise and combat wise. And the game itself graphically is just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad I actually played it to be honest. Just disappointed in the story. Not that it was a bad story. It's just the way it was told. I think a lot of it should have been reshuffled as in like having Joel's death towards the end finding a way to actually play as Joel at some point in the game and one of my biggest problems with it if you watch my playthrough is when we ended up playing as Abby now it wasn't the fact that we were playing as Abby or learning her story I just felt it was 
extremely dragged out for a character that we've only just met who given did do something tremendous i mean tremendously bad given her high ranks as an important character but i don't think how much her story being stretched out actually made a difference much to how i felt about her now obviously i got to the point where i didn't actually want her to die anymore but i think if she did it wouldn't have bothered me at all whereas if it was the other way around and she had killed ellie too i think if that was quite a way before the end i would have just uninstalled the game to be honest and probably never gone back to the franchise if they ever bought out a third one which hopefully they will and not learn from their mistakes because as i said the game is their art they can do what they want with it but maybe find a way to cater the story towards the fans a little bit more and i think that's all i've got to say on it to be honest probably one minor issue that i want to bring up which really isn't that important at all but you know what really irritated me was when you could see where you were supposed to go it didn't seem that far away yet instead of going in a straightish line towards where you want to be you had to deviate to some ridiculous area that's way out the way or at least felt like it, just to feel like you've had your time wasted. That really irritated me. I don't think I ever had that feeling in the first one. I never got frustrated with the first one. This one, I kept feeling as if I was almost exhausted going back and forth up and down Seattle. But that's about it. I don't think there's anything else I can really say, to be honest. But if they do announce a third one, I will be looking forward to it. I just hope it's something I'll enjoy more than this one and i think i've just got ghost of tsushima to look forward to now and then cyberpunk 2077 towards the end of the year hopefully ghost of tsushima won't be as depressing as the last of us part two i'm really looking forward to playing that one cyberpunk 2077 a lot more but it's further down the road so ghost of tsushima is the one i'm actually looking forward to at the moment now there's something else i want to say as well if you're that one person who hasn't been following my videos i will be changing the format i won't be doing playthroughs anymore i'm gonna cut down the amount of videos i upload because i will be going back to work soon this was just something i started because we were in lockdown i needed something to do to keep my mind active and working on these videos was really fun but i'm gonna have to limit my videos to this structure which will be i'll start a game i'll record the first day so as much as i can play in that first day condense that down to a roughly a 10 minute video give my first impressions in that 10 minutes and then i'll switch over to twitch stream the rest of the game and then by the end of it i'll try and do a review or something like this which is just a natural organic impressions video i've only done one review before which was the final fantasy 7 remake and that entire thing was completely scripted which i did not like the sound of at all once i'd finished it but it was a review and i spent a lot of time working on it i didn't want to just chuck it in the bin now the link to my twitch i'll leave in the description down below so make sure you follow me there for when i start ghost of shima i won't be streaming the first bit of the game i'll just be recording it but after that i'll be streaming right until the end so yeah that's it for this video and whatever video i do next i'll catch you there that's arc signed out cheers <laughs> <laughs>